Secrets from the Tombs. This audio presentation is read and voiced by Shakim Ra. It is provided to the public by Amon Ra University. Who was Pepe the Second? The pyramid texts of Pepe the Second are among the oldest religious texts in the world. For millennium, they lie undetected, undiscovered, and perhaps forever lost in translation, but with time, the essence of these ancient writings becomes clearer in the lens of their historical and scientific context. In this presentation, we will explore the Pyramid of Pepe II, read and decipher the Medunetra inscriptions, and provide the viewer with an interpretation that aligns with modern science. Long dismissed as unintelligible and incoherent, the pyramid text of Pepe II contain a cornucopia of spiritual transformation science and profound knowledge of self, astronomy, quantum physics, and bacterial genetics. Let us explore the afterlife journey of the Greek immortal ruler of the Eastern Sky and Sirius, Pepe II. The Pyramid Text of Pepe II Translation by James Allen Fifth king of the sixth dynasty of ancient Kemet, Pepe II ruled for nearly a century, circa 2246 to 2152 BC. The substructure of his pyramid is slightly smaller than that of Pepe I, but better preserved. With the exception of the south wall of the antechamber, its inscribed walls have either survived largely intact or have been reconstructed to the point that their contents are known. As in the text of Marin Ray, the king is referred to by his throne name, Neferkara, the perfect one of the sun's Ka, as well as his personal name. The two names usually appear together with the throne name first, but in a few cases spatial considerations seem to have dictated the use of one name alone. Pepe II's pyramid also adopted Teti's practice of beginning each column of text as well as individual spells with a monogram for Jed Medu or recitation. The layout of the text generally follows the pattern established by Pepe I. The walls of the burial chamber around the sarcophagus are inscribed with a series of spells commending the king's body to Nut. Spells 2 through 89. Beginning on the West Gabel, these continue in two sequences, each running from the west end of the North Wall to the West Wall and the west end of the South Wall, and end with two sequences at the bottoms of the North and South Walls. The ticks on the two side walls are distinguished from those on the wall's eastern sections by signs facing outward toward the east. Pepe the First Pyramid preserves the complete sequences of the offering and insignia rituals on the east end of the burial chamber's north wall. The two rites open with a unique mouth opening ritual, spells 90 through 101 as in the Pyramid of Marin Ray. The rituals themselves are arranged in five registers meant to be read in two sections, west and east. They begin in register one with part of the insignia ritual for the presentation of royal regalia and a libation and sensing, spells 102 through 114. The offering ritual proper follows in registers 2 through 5, spells 115 through 264. Then, the insignia ritual proper in the east half of registers 1 through 4, spells 265 to 306. 
The concluding spells for the two rituals occupied the east end of Register 5. Spells 307 through 321. The east end of the burial chamber south wall opens with an invocation to Geb, spell 322, and contains the resurrection ritual, both the basic text found in Unas's pyramid, spells 323 through 334, and spells from the extended ritual used by Pepe I and Marin Ray, which concludes on the east wall, spells 335 through 358. The latter wall is divided into two sections, gavel and wall, separated by a horizontal line of text, but the arrangement of its text is more complex. The wall contains three sequences of spells, the end of the resurrection ritual, a response to the offering ritual, and the morning ritual. The first of these occupies the left north end of the wall proper to just over the doorway. The other two are divided into three sections each. The response to the offering ritual follows the end of the resurrection ritual immediately over the doorway, then moves to the gavel and concludes near the right south end of the wall. Spell 383 is divided between the gavel and the wall. The morning ritual follows this at the right end of the wall, then proceeds to the horizontal line below the gavel and ends on the wall over into the right of the doorway between the first and third sections of the response. The rationale behind this disparate arrangement is unclear, but it may have been conditioned in part by the desire to place most of the response to the offering ritual in the gavel, as in Unasis pyramid. In the passage leading to the antechamber, the spirit encountered text to enable it to leave the duat, beginning with the number of personal spells and ending with the series addressed to the spirit, spells 404 through 412. The east wall of the antechamber is divided into gavel and wall, separated by a horizontal line of text. Its spells are mostly the same as those found on this wall in the pyramids of Pepe I and Marin Ray. Both personal and addressed to the deceased, they were intended to facilitate the entrance of his spirit into the Aket spells 413 through 435. Six groups of fragments can be assigned to the destroyed south wall of the antechamber, spells 436 through 452, all concerned with the spirit's passage through the Aket. The east wall of the antechamber is divided into three sections, like the west wall. Its texts begin with a series commending the spirit at the end of the Aket to the sun, including a number of spells from Teti Serdab Passage and Marin Ray's East Gabalin Wall. Spells for the newborn spirit's control of sustenance and protection from emical beings follow, many of which are found on the same wall in other pyramids. The wall ends with two spells for boarding the sunboat and preparing to leave the Aket. These anticipate and may begin the series on the north wall, which deals with the same subjects. In the pyramids of Pepe II's predecessors, the walls of the corridor read from east to west, but the reverse is true in Pepe II's corridor the themes in the text, however, are the same, leaving the Aket, proceeding toward the sky, and joining the Necheru, the gods. The spells are largely the same as those found in the corridors of Pepe the First and Marin Re.
The spells in the vestibule form a single series for the spirit's appearance at dawn and reception into the company of the Neturu. These read from the south wall to the east wall with spell 576 divided between the two walls, and then from the west wall to the north wall, spells for entering the womb of Newt, burial chamber, sarcophagus, and west end. The King's Titulary The Living One, the Dual King, Neferkara, the Divine One of the Two Lands Appearance, Pepi, alive forever. The Living One, the Divine One of Horus Appearance, the Dual King, Neferkara, the Sun's Bodily Son, alive forever. The Living One, the Divine One of Horus Appearance, the Dual King, Neferkara. The Divine One of Horus Appearance, the Dual King, Neferkara. Pepi the Sun's son and Geb's heir, Neferkara, given life like the sun forever. The Living One, the Divine One of Horus Appearance, the Dual King, Neferkara. The Divine One, of the two ladies' appearance, Neferkara, the controlling falcon of gold, Pepi, the sun's son, Geb's heir, and Newt's child, alive forever. The living one, the divine one of Horus' appearance, the dual king, the divine one of the two ladies' appearance, the controlling falcon of gold, Pepi Neferkara, Gives air, alive like the sun forever. The living one, the divine one of Horus' appearance, the dual king, Pepi Neferkara, the controlling falcon of gold. Pepi Neferkara, the sun's son, gives air. Pepi Neferkara, given life, stability, authority, and all happiness forever. The Living One, the Divine One of Horus' appearance, the Dual King, Pepi Neferkara, alive forever. Sending the Spirit to Newt, ascending as a falcon. Hold Pepi Neferkara with gaping mouth, you with braids, come to him, come to him. Upswellings to the sky, upswellings to the earth. The plumage of this Pepi Neferkara is that of a bird, and he will reach the sky as two falcons. The marsha reads as a star that crosses the great green. Pepi Neferkara's plumes are the Seker boat's plumes. His goings are Nubis's goings. Pepi Neferkara has sped away from you all. Osiris Pepi Neferkara, here is the scent of Horus's eye on you. Here is Horus's eye, which he spread out in his scent. Address to the spirit as Osiris. Ho, Osiris Pepi Neferkara, Tehuti has pressed Heru for you in his identity. Heru has come and will allot you among the gods. The Necheru have made you sound, for they love you. The Necheru have desired you for Heru, in your identity of the one from Elephantine. The Necheru have made for you Heru, in your identity of the I. Heru has seized Seth for you, and put him under you, that he may bear you and tremble under you in the earth's trembling. Don't let him get away from you. Ho, you have been swept from him. Emerge, take up your positions up on him. Return him to yourself. Jump on him. Don't let him loose. Don't let him go out from you. Heru has put your opponents under you, transported and guided. 
Tehuti has allotted them to you, dragged them to you, failed them to you, and has given you Horus his eye, that you may be content. Horus has filled you complete with his eye and its identity of the deposited offering. Horus has rescued his eye from Seth and given it to you. This is sweet eye. Return it to yourself. Oh, may it endure with you and your limbs have been made sound and you have ascended. Ho, Osiris Pepi Nefra Ra, Heru will not imbibe from you and your identity of the inundation. Heru has stood you up. Don't totter. Bear up your heart. Let your heart grow with happiness. Heru has given you his children that they might bear you and follow you and you might have control of them. Heru's children have lifted you up in your destiny of the Seker Bolt and your identity of Seker. Be alive and move about every day in your identity of the Aket, from whom the sun emerges, esteemed, sharp, for the course of eternity. Section D, Ascending to Newt. Neferka Ra's kilt is that of a sky official, and Pepe Neferka Ray's enclosure is there among those who have identities. The sun in the cool waters and the populace, as well as his two boats, will speak to him, for the identity of Pepe Neferka Ra is there as the one of the Aket, at whose voice the sacred images grow afraid. Pepe Neferka Ray will return inside the great circuit beside him who is in his terrorizing. Any Netcher who will give to Pepe Neferkara will become powerful enough to acquire his body against his opponents. Pepe Neferkara, Ma'at, and enlivened peace out of fighting beside him who demands that is Pepe Neferkara. Pepe Neprika Ra is an equipped ox who demands to come into being. The sky is shouting. The earth is moving. Pepe Neprika Ra's birth is the beginning of the month, and Pepe Neprika Ra's conception is the middle of the month. He has emerged on a locust vertebrae and among those children of an attacker, a hornet, with wings and uray. Pepe Neferka Ra has gone to sleep after ascending to the sun every day, and the shrine of the sun's boat has been opened to him when the sun shines. Pepe Neferka Ra has gone up on a cloud and descended in water. Pepe Neferka Ra is an equipped op who demands to come into being. Pepe Neferka Ra will put Ma'at before the sun on the day of the New Year festival. The sky is in contentment and the earth is in gladness, for they have heard that Pepe Neferka Ra will put Ma'at and they will greet Pepe Neferka Ra's entrance in his court because of the correct phrase that comes from his mouth. Pepe Neferka Ra has demanded his requirement as ruler. Pepe Neferka Ra, a big falcon who demands to come into being. Pepe Neferka Ra will course the sky on its four parts. Pepe Neferka Ra has gone up on a cloud and descended into water. Pepe Neferka Ra is an equipped ox. Pepe Neprika Ra is a big falcon on the battlements of Hidden Identities Enclosure, who takes Atum's property to him who sweeps the sky away from the earth and new. For Pepe Neprika Ra's eyes are those of the Lord of Sunlight, his lips those of the bull of sacred images, for his neck is that of the Mistress of Flame.
For his claws are those of the bull of the evening, for his wings are those of the thighs forward in the midst of the shrine. Authoritative utterance has been given to Pepe Neper Kara, as he whose face suffered beside him who is in new. The seniority of Pepe Neper Kara, as foremost of Heliopolis, will be a continual title. He who moves about is the one who has directed Pepe Nefer Kara toward the marsh of sunlight. His hands have fallen on him. Who dispatches circulate? North of the island of Elephantine, he has stoned the earth with sunlight in his first sacred image beside him who sees. For he has reached the Aket with the leading Uraeus in his first birth. He has gone away. He has gone away from the place of sharp glances. Pepe Nipperkara has become effective in his ba of first of his cavern. A tree at the shoulder of the Nefares tree. The identity of Pepe Nefrakare has been made as a divine falcon, of whom he who passes him is afraid, for Pepe Nefrakara is the firstborn, senior to the terrorizer in the surroundings of him of the enclosure. Pepe Nefrakara is now off to his place of Malachite, and his food is now in the marshes of rest in the lakes of Turquoise. Untold numbers will cry out to him when he is established in the sky forever, and Pepe Nefrakara will lead the sun in its two Ma'ad boats on the day of closing out the year. Osiris Pepe Nefrakara, I have arrayed you with Horus's eye, this red and tet of whom the gods have been fearful, that the gods may be fearful of you like they are fearful of Horus's eye. Osiris Pepe Nefrika Ra, except Horus's eye that I have made, for he has shot it. Addressed to the spirit as a ser in the Duat. Ho, Father Osiris Pepe Nefrika Ra, live, be alive in this, your identity that is with the gods, apparent as parterre, as the ram at the fore of the living, as the controlling one at the fore of the ox. Such is this Pepe Nefrakara, who is amongst you, Necheru. Your baton is set in your hand, Pepe Nefrakara, that you may open the ram bolted gates that bar the Feneku. You shall number those of the night, direct the nine bulls, and take the hand of the imperishable stars. The great ones shall gather to you, and the watchers shall wait for you, for Horus who tends his father. Ho, oh, Pepe Nefrakara. How elder is he who sleeps? How great he who is asleep? For this elder one has spent the night abed. Awake, raise yourself, for great praise is toward you, and the great sin is toward you. Pleasant to your nose is the scent of the firstborn thing. Wash yourself. For you have received these your four washing jars that have been filled from the god's canal, that you may become clean through them as a god, and go forth through them as the sun's eye. So stand at the four of the imperishable stars, governing at their four as Geb, 
at the fore of the Ennead's body, a heliopolitan governing in the session of the living God. Acquire the crown as a sole star who wipes out his opponents. Behold the manner of your going, Pepi Neferkara, which Heru described to his father Osiris, through which he became Ba, through which he became Ak, through which he became esteemed. Ho, Pepi Neferkara, come that I may do it for you, Father Pepi Neferkara, and you may become a Ba through it, and become an Ak through it, and become esteemed through it, that you may become Ba through it, and take control through it. Father, Pepi Neferkara, you have become Ba, Ak, and esteemed. You have your Ba around you, you have your Ak within you, and you have your heart of your body. I have severed your shackles as Heru in his royal house. I have loosened for you, Father Pepi Neferkara, your hobbles as Seth and Takebit, and you have entered into the house of defense. For your father Geb has defended you. He who will reject you will not live. He who calls behind you, one who goes back, that is not your name. Heru's eyes shall endure for you. Put your hand on this your bread. Endow yourself with this bread like Heru endowed himself with his eye. This is the distinguished identity of the endowed offering. Supply yourself with this bread like Heru supplied himself with his eye. This is the distinguished identity of the supplied offering. So, ascend to the sky amongst the Necheru. Because of this, your identity which your father Osiris has made for you. Behold this which I have done for you, Father Pepi Neferkara. I have taken you away from your impediment and cannot give you Pepi Neferkara to your hunter's hunt. The sky's door has been opened to you. The cool water's door has been pulled open to you. You shall call to the mooter as I said. The mooring post shall call to you as never had. Be apparent on the great causeway and circulate in the Horus Mounds. Circulate in the Seth Mounds. I have been effective for you, Father Pepe Neferkara. I have not been useless for you, occupying you and making firm your jar stand and your bread. Your bread is at its proper time. Your morning bread is at its proper time. Pepe Neferkara, your bread is present every day. Let me assure you that the one I have mentioned to you will continue to exist. The tomb, which is the limit of the vision of him whose identity is distinguished, you should associate with your predecessor, Osiris. You have your ox, your fowl, your thousand of figs, your thousand of wine, your thousand of bread, your thousand of hebenet, your thousand of roast grain, to which Geb gave birth for you. Water shall provide nurture for you. The outflow that comes from Osiris shall provide nurture for you. Ah, to you, Father Pepi Neferkara. You have your water. You have your inundation. You have your milk that is from your mother Aset's breast. The sky has shouted, the earth trembled, and the gods have grown excited before the birth of the god. Oh, Pepi Neferkara, Geb has given you and Nuth has received you. So you shall go forth to the sky and the sky's door shall be opened to you. The earth shall be plowed for you, and offerings shall be laid down for you. <laughs>